Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechabadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. You brothers and you sisters wholeheartedly wake up on the Lord, Yahweh, to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you, I see Shalom. To start here, Second Ezra chapter nine, verse twenty. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were coming to it. And I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of the cluster, a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept in my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. So, just going into, um, you know, this first verse, verse 20, he said, you consider the world and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were coming to it. You know, when you, when you go to Genesis, the sixth chapter, he said that, uh, that every thought in man's heart was evil continually, you know? So now in this, this current world you have even greater abominations being done on this earth Be because they have more uh, knowledge and test uh, technology you know certain things that, that you couldn't do back in the ancient world you can do now man a man could remove his <laughs> you know his unit and uh, pretend to be a woman verse 21 and I saw it spared it greatly and have kept me a great of the cluster. That cluster is talking about the, the entire nation of Israel. You see? And a plant of a great people. That great is the elect. So you got a small remnant that was predestinated or preordained to be saved or to be protected from sudden destruction because of the, the evil and wickedness that is currently in this in this earth. When you go to Ezekiel the ninth chapter, in the fourth verse it says that the Lord told the angel to set a mark upon upon the men that sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. If you actually are paying attention to current news and things that are going on around the world. You know, the whole Jeffrey Epstein ordeal. You got this list coming out, man, with all these different names. And you got a lot of men, women as well, who were involved with with uh, with the ordeals that that this man was was in, you know, included in. I'm, I'm using very vague terminology right now so you know you got a lot of people being exposed you got a lot of people uh, skeletons falling out the closet so to speak and the Lord is doing that on purpose because he, he's getting ready to judge you people man you think because you were doing all this thing you know all these this wickedness and, and this evil and darkness that it was not going to come to light. But everything came to light, man. And it will be manifest. You see? So the Lord has allowed all these things to happen. So when the time of destruction comes, the elect, right? The men, women, and children, the one third, who truly believe in Yahweh Shem Shai, repented, called upon his name, waiting patiently for salvation when that fire hit man hey the elect is going to be delivered from it but all you people right the cluster as it reads here let the multitude perish the the, the rest of the, the the cluster is going to perish man it's going to die on this side but the, the heavenly father with his long suffering and, and, and great mercy Hey, even though you die on this side, you're gonna 
be reborn back into the kingdom through the loins of the elect. I'm talking about the the two thirds of the nation of Israel. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my great be kept. So that elect or that remnant, that small number, one hundred forty-four thousand and, and, and uh, a numerable multitude, will be kept. Will be will be uh, hid from the destruction. It reads for with great labor have I made it perfect. And how has the heavenly Father made that great that great perfect? Through the ministry of the prophets, through these videos, through through uh, chastisement, correction, rep reproof. When you go to Second Timothy, the fourth chapter, the second verse it says, "Reprove, rebuke, re rebuke with all all long suffering." You see, preach the word. And, and, and that's what we have been doing Starting with our elders and our apostles on down So that's a, a portion of how the elect has been made perfect That great and You also go to Ephesians, the fourth chapter It says that he hath set evangelists and prophets and teachers For the perfecting of the saints You see So two-thirds of the nation of Israel has to, has to be cut off Because they're rotten grapes Um, a precept came to mind Oh yeah, let me grab that This is just through the spirit You know, something quick Ze Zechariah 13 and 8 And I And it shall come to pass That in all the land That land is America Said the Lord, Yahweh Two parts therein shall be cut off and die Right, two thirds of the nation of Israel When you make a pie chart And you cut it up in, in three slices Two of those slices Are going to be discarded And that, and that one that, that's, that, that last slice That's left Is going to be preserved and saved But the third shall be left therein You see Verse 9 And I will bring the third part through the fire And will refine them as silver is refined And will try them as gold is tried How do you Try or refine silver and gold is through fire. Fire is a cleansing agent. So when you put, like, say you were, um, you know, if you ever watched, you know, gold mining shows, right? Uh, and it, 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 a lot of the time, maybe Esau has mining for that gold. But you ever see uh, those mining shows, man? You gotta go. It's a it's a very tedious process to refine to find gold. First of all, you have to find it, and then you have to clean it. You have to go through a, a process of sifting the gold from the dirt. Then you have to melt it down and purify it to get all the imperfections and impurities out of it, so that you can. Ultimately, create a fine piece of uh, jewelry. If you if you try to create jewelry without refining gold, it, it's going to have too many imperfections in it, and it's going to break. It's going to crumble. You know, it's not going to last because of the imp impurities. That's why the heavenly Father says He's going to bring us through the fire. Um. As it reads, it says, And I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call upon my name, and I will hear, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord Yahweh is my power. You see? Um, I think that's pre that precept is in Isaiah, where it says, I will um, you know, bring you through the furnace of adversity. It also says that in uh, Sirach. Right? Acceptable men are are, are um, made through the furnace of adversity. You know, paraphrase it. So the Lord has an elect, man. He has a remnant. He has a chosen out of the chosen. 
Because the nation of Israel is the chosen nation, the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. Read Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, verse six. Thou art a holy people unto the Heavenly Father. Deuteronomy 7. Thou art a holy people unto the Heavenly Father. Who was he talking to when he said that? He's talking to, he's talking to Jacob. The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. You can't get around that. Access granted. <clears throat> you can't get around that. The Heavenly Father has a chosen people. And, and within that chosen people, he has a... a an election the top the cream of the crop the uh the the, the king so to speak you know when you have a mountain because we are a mountain the nation of israel is also a mountain right a government so to speak when you look at a mountain you have the summit and you have the body of a mountain the summit is the peak, the top. The whole mountain isn't at the top. You have a, sele a select few who are at the top of the mountain. Starting with our our big brother, Yahweh Our Lord, our Savior. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Right? He's at the top of the mountain. And you got King David. And, and, and the rest of... Uh, the apostles and, and the disciples, the prophets, etc., etc. You see, and then you got the 144,000, which there are they are included in, and the one third innumerable multitude, which is spoken of in Revelation, the seventh chapter. <clears throat> you see, so the Heavenly Father, he 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 has that's why it says they were predestinated, man. From the foundation of the earth This was already written You can't do anything against the truth Before the truth That's why hey, all we can do is hope We're hopeful Prisoners of Yahweh Shai Hopeful elect Praying for forgiveness And mercy To, to be accounted worthy You see To um, You know avoid that destruction man so this is something quick through the spirit. I want to give all praises and glory and honor and power and might to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakwadash, Shalom.